Hey, what's up? What's up? What's up, guys? It's uh, Charlotte, you know? And uh, this this is more of a question. Question for fellas out here. I, I really want to know how far guys would go to keep their families together. Because I've, I've heard a lot of stories about oh it's it's usually ladies who are sacrificing to make marriages work to make relationship works and, and and i don't think that's the case because more often than not most breakups are initiated by ladies i'm not saying that they they don't have cause for it i'm just saying more often than not they're the ones who initiate breakups and divorces no matter the reason so sir, my question was this guys yeah? if if a marriage is bad i want to know why, why don't guys ask for divorces if let's say if they meet an, a new woman or something like that um, i'm a let me let me borrow a leaf from the ladies i'm a why don't i hear guys say i'm not happy anymore i want a divorce i'm a oh i've outgrown you i want a divorce I've, I've, I don't. I correct me if I'm wrong. I can use the music. Ni madam tu nimesikia kitu mia. Sijis kia jama ati anasema o. I wasn't in love with you to begin with. I was just doing this because you are rich. I'm. I was just doing this because you are beautiful. Am I wrong? Am I wrong for saying that? If so, correct me. Let's dig into it. It, it 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 just come is no is no shock to anyone that some some of the some of the reasons that people used to get married or used to get together was because of was because of uh, security you know two people who survive better than one person and when it came to ladies especially iso times like kitambo it was like a requirement for a lady to have a man protect her to have a man provide and all that but that has changed so since that has changed and we have evolved the ladies have evolved and the men have evolved is in the, the the institution itself supposed to evolve as well to go with the people who are evolving don't you think don't you think that some of these uh, traditional rules and requirements that come with marriage don't work in this day and age do you think they do if so tell me but since we are actually looking on the majority here there is a problem because more people now don't want to get married both men and women they don't see the upside to it hmm? because it's become frivolous i don't need you to survive you don't need me to survive why the fuck should i be tied to you by law pragmatism Hmm? And when our people are not willing to compromise enough to make this stuff work, cause I'll survive even if I have my own job, she has her own job. So what what do you think we should change? I I really want to know. Juna Jua, when it comes to unions, especially unions that are monogamous, there has to be sacrifices. These sacrifices have to be tied to something grander than the two of you. And that that has been married for a very long time. Marriage has always been grander than one person. And that's why a lot of young men ulko nasikia tulikuwa tunaambiwa back in the day, wewe ukipata bibi ndio uta grow up. Ukipata bwana, ah bibi ilikuwa tu for us. Ukipata bibi, that's when you'll become a man. And so even McDonald, oh, they used to say that because marriage in a way takes away freedom and replaces it with responsibility you get and guys used to be okay with that because responsible men are focused men and focused men are purposeful men and purposeful men are complete a purposeful man is a man who knows what he's supposed to do 
he knows his place in society and he knows he's needed in society and that will wake up any man from any any social standing from any country that is enough for any man i can say there's no need for it there's no need for men to stand up there's no need for men to be responsible and why is that because they're obsolete are they obsolete no they're just made to feel that way society tells them it's a new age an age where you are not like your grandfather and not like your father okay is it better am i better no you're not you need to learn your new place there's a new place now a place where you're not the head of anything and if you choose to be the head it can be taken away just like just like that and you have to be okay with that you can dedicate your entire life to someone and this person can wake up one day and just say i don't love you anymore and that's it you should be okay with that you should see it as i gambled i failed but the gamble was your life so what are we supposed to change how can we make coupling survive this new generation can it can we be dedicated to each other just two people and and shun all the social media hmm? shun all the people pretending to have better lives than us adi unaanza kujishuku oh maybe i'm not living large enough maybe i have the wrong wife maybe i have the wrong husband Huh? Maybe my wife is not beautiful enough. Look at my friend's wife. She's always posting photos of her big behind. I want that. I want that. But you forget your wife has been with you through the the thin and the thick. When you didn't have anything, she was there. She might not have had a big booty. <laughs> Eh but she knew how to budget ile dog dog mlikuwa naye. Can we do it? I think it will, this this will this will boil down to individuals this. It will be an individual thing. Do the more the more socialized we become, the more the more of a global village this world becomes. The more we are always bombarded. Our endorphins are always are always we always bombarded with this overload of endorphins always we always have to be constant state of entertainment or constant state of mental stim- stimulation and i think that's fucking up our, our our understanding of what the world is supposed to be i don't know what you can do about it right now i don't know because we are still evolving and it is happening so quickly that we, we we don't have time to stipulate any any laws or regulate anything because we don't know what the end product will be we don't know we don't know what kind of humans we will be in a thousand years we even don't know how much we will have changed in 50 years that's how fast we are evolving technologically So I told me Mazeni Kiskiangatio there's a poly- polyamorous uh, couple I'm like yeah good for them Uskengine oh there, there are women who decided to just live together three women and raise their kids oh good for them I'm happy for them you you don't know Why we are, we are we are in uncharted waters right now We're just trying to make this shit work for us individually That's all we can do I guess. There's so much ah so much change. And before we even react to we change in Guinea something else has changed. So me me about bigger story what can I say? I can say just find what works for you. I don't give a fuck how weird it is. I don't care. If it works for you, if it can allow you to wake up in the morning and not feel like shit and no one to end it. Do it. 
don't give a shit what it is. Do it. As long as it's legal, do it. As long as you're not hurting anyone, do it. Charlo Tena. In the spirit of thoughtfulness, I'll see you guys again. Peace out. Ha, ha, ha.